Revelations 13 and 16. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Call halal la Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's Hebrew. Interpret bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, it's going to be a quick one. And um, I was meditating. <clears throat> and as I was taking this ride home, you know, I was uh, just meditating on, you know, Esau, you know, things that he have uh, planned, you know, in this 2020 to come. You know, us brothers of the knowing, us brothers of the hopeful elect, you know, that believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and that's pushing forth this truth. We know that this this devil, okay, who the world, you know, ignorantly call white people, really they're Edomites. We know that they have an agenda, you know, and things have been ramping up. You know, they're not demonizing brothers, you know, de demonizing the Hebrew Israelites around the world. You know, um, they're demonizing the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shai. Um, you know, it's so much going on that, you know, you can feel it, feel the spirit that it's, it's a force now. You know, everything is forcing, you know, being forced upon you. And these few years that pass, you know, Esau been kind of trying to drive you toward the multitude. Like, you know, just follow the multitude, you know, you know, changing the behavior of, um, uh, excuse me. Uh, he he been um, he been pushing and striving to um, get you to accept homosexuality behavior. You know he he been pushing for you to accept um, a mental illness behavior. You know now you know it's like around the board he's trying he's he's forcing you now. Now it's like you know time is enough, enough is enough. You're gonna do what I say. You know, if you don't want to follow the multitude, because the multitude is uh, leading, you know, which the scriptures speak uh, uh, contrary of that. Scriptures say, follow not the multitude to do evil. You know, he's going to single you out as a terrorist. Okay. And he's in the spirit of forcing things, you know, taking uh, action. So, you know, I'm here with this scripture, which is also prophecy, Revelations 13, 16. Where it says he calls of all, you know, and I want to go into that word cause because um, that's a way of force. All right. So let me. Um, let me get the word cause. OK. And it's a Greek uh, Greek word. Charles G. 4160. Poyeo. Poyeo. All right. Poyeo. Which means to make, you know, now Esau is making you do these things. You know, there is no options. There is no opting out. And I'm talking about, you know, all situations, anything that deals with education, anything deals with, you know, as far as how you treat your health, you have to go to him, you know, that, you know, you're being forced. It says to make with the names of things made to produce, construct. So he's constructing the way that you live. That's why going into uh, 2020, year 2020, he's going to construct the way that you live. He's doing it now. All right. When he forcing uh, mandate this, this RFID microchip, which we understand it and believe through the scriptures and spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, that it is the mark of the beast. He's going to construct you on how to live with it, to take it. It says form, fashion, see, the fashion of this world is passing away, okay? And ultimately, it's going to pass away by the way of thermonuclear destruction, thus saith the Bible, okay? Because we understand through the prophecies that there will be a World War Three. okay? Who they're trying to demonize now is Yahweh Shai. He is going to come. He is going to return, okay? So anyway, it says to make, uh, excuse me, to be the author of the cause, and they are the author of and the cause of all of this madness that's going on in the world. You see? You know, look at look at Jake now being degenerate. They the cause of it. Why you can't get right. They the cause of it. 
while, you know, you fight tooth and nail, you know, to, to have some sort of resource and some sort of uh, say so, but you can't. They beat you down. And it's all due to the powers of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. So he's the author of this force that's coming. You know, they said, what was it, a few articles ago, this well, 2019, this year, in the beginning of this year, brothers was pulling out articles where I believe one article said they was, they was going to force straight men to date transsexuals. How are you going to force straight men to, to date transsexuals? Transformers, you know, as they would call it, man, you know? So they're on the verge of force. It says to be the author of the cause to make ready to prepare. All right. They're preparing you by what? Their media. Okay. They're preparing you by their legislations, their their laws, you know, their their their, their um constitution. Well, excuse me, their their laws in which they're placing. It says to produce, bear, shoot forth, to acquire, to provide a thing for oneself. And who is that for oneself? For the elite, which is the house of Esau, mainly dealing around what? The Rothschilds. Okay. It says to make a thing out of something, you know. <clears throat> um, let me see here. I ain't going to read all these. Just jump around. All right, anyway, let me see Strong, Strong say, to make or do, okay, very wide application, more or less, abide, agree, a point. They're forcing you to agree, <laughs> you know, to bear, you know, to commit. They're executing their force, okay, to fulfill, you know, so anyway, right? So let me get back to the scripture. This is Revelation 13, 16. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, to uh, free or free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that's the RFID microchip. All right. So, um, excuse me. I want to go to this word exert. Exert. Okay. Which means... Apply or bring to bear a force, influence, or quality. The moon exerts a force on the earth. So they're influencing you. Well, we really leaving out of that time of influence. You know, they influence two-thirds a whole lot by they passing laws. Okay? Why they put shit up on their social media or on mainstream media. Okay? It says a force. It says to make a physical or mental effort. You know, they're going to get physical. They're going to get physical, man. And you guys out there that's laughing and think this shit is a joke. Well, we're approaching Jacob's trouble. That's going to be physical. Okay? Right before the time that the Lord come. All right? But those that's of the elect, guess what? We have hope and faith. And we believe, man. Okay? That Yahweh Shah is going to defend us, man. All right? Now, let me see here. Now, the word force. This is the Marion Webster. It says strength or energy exerted or brought to bear because they're going to make the energy. They're going to draw the energy and they're going to have the strength to force you to go their way. If not, they're going to lock you up or kill you. We, we are headed. I was watching Donald Trump earlier and how he claimed that America is so great again. You know, this place is on its way out. It's crumbling. He's saying there's more jobs. He's saying that the tariff, um, what you call it, the... Um, you know, the sanctions and against China and against these countries they had sanctions with are all now coming back and everybody's doing well and they, you know, they we good now. No, it's not good, man. Scriptures say he that seek peace, he that shall seek of peace shall have none. All right, roughly paraphrasing, man. The sudden destruction cometh upon them, uh uh excuse me, the sudden destruction cometh upon them, man. You know, so it says strength or energy exerted or brought to bear cause of motion or change active power so esau is causing the motion of change you know in the way that you live anybody that's of the old natural way you're getting booted out you're being demonized as a terrorist and let me say this for the record you devils you edomites okay e you know esau 
You're not going to win this spiritual war. All right. You've been dibbling and dabbling with sorcery for the longest. Okay. The days of your youth. Even with ones before you, man. This is how you ran and you established this place of America by lies and deception. Well, guess what? There's a an attraction which the truth. Okay, what comes with lies. Let me say there's an attraction there. When you have somebody tells a lie, that means that truth is coming soon. You see? Because lies can't trump truth. It only could get away temporarily. So while you devils think that you're gonna win. You know, physically, because that's what you were about. And that's another thing Trump was talking about. He said um, how, you know, he was happy to hear when the military, when they announced, they pronounced to him that, you know, he he, he said, Yo, you, so you guys, you guys are doing better now. When I first came in, you didn't have this. You didn't have that. Now you got this. Now you got that. And then, you know, they made they comment back to Trump. They reply and was like, you know, we, we are like, uh, I forgot to say what this guy said. But basically, Esau is, is all weapons, man. He's all about war, physically, man. You know, Trump, you know, like he liked it that. So Esau and his pride really believes that he's going to upset prophecy with the Lord. He believes that, you know, he's going to basically not, uh, let's say, um, what the brother was saying earlier, <clears throat> that um, they're trying to strip us from our inheritance no not that um it's like, yeah, i don't know why my brain not thinking straight on this what they said um you know they trying to tear down basically what's being built all right and they're trying to not let us be a nation you know as is written in what's that isaiah 63 was it 63 psalm 63 or 83 psalms 83 matter of fact let me get that so like, yeah, bear with me this is um, Psalms uh, 83 and verse 1. Keep not thou silence, O Yahweh. Hold not thou peace and be not still, O Yahweh. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. And that's you Edomites. And that's, well, that's all of you nations, all of you heathens, but mainly you Edomites. They lifted up their head. They're proud. They have taken crafty counsel against our people. Who is our people? The Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, Native Seminole Indians. These are the Israelites. These are the Lord's people. And no, you can't build with us. Okay? You can't build with the Israelites. You Edomites, you Ishmaelites, you Hamites. All right? You can't build with the Israelites toward their power, man. You can't build with us. And this is why they're angry. It says, they have taken crafty counsel against our people and consulted against our hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. And that's exactly what you thought you did, you know, when you established yourself as the Israelites or established yourself as the people of Israel, which Israel is a people before a place. And even at this very same time, where they could see, you know, men are waking up, the men of the Lord are waking up around the four corners of the world. They, they, they basically, they at it again. They, they, they're, it says, let us cut them off from being a nation. They want to cut us off from being a nation, man. You see, because why? They can't build with you. All right. It says that the name of Israel be no more in remembrance, for they have consorted together with one consent, meaning they're all together with this one thing. They might war with each other. You check these more bites out, and um and and um and Esau out. You check them out. They they war with each other. You know Esau war with uh, uh Ishmael, but guess what? When they sit at that round table with the kings, they come to one consent, man, and that's to do what? To not let the Israelites be a nation anymore. And this is why you so-called blacks and Latinos are at the very bottom. You know, especially you blacks, because you are the you know, the tribe of Judah, which is the top tribe, you're the you're the worst tribe. You know, you got it the worst on this side, man. So, for they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. They're confederate against the Lord. It says the tabernacle of Edom and the Ishmaelites of Moab and the Hungarians, Gabal and Ammon and Amalek, Amalek, Amalek 
the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre, ashore also is joint with them. They have hopped in the children of Lot, Shalai. Okay. So, you know, just for the record, you Edomites not going to win this spiritual war. We're spiritual men. We're not carnal. You're not going to win. You know, you know, the Most High said we were made to reprove your thoughts. The reason why we exist in this time and doing the works that the Lord said to do is to reprove you, to correct you. To let you know that the Heavenly Father is the one that ruleth in the kingdom of men. Alright? You know, you're not going to win this spiritual war. You know, the Lord have given us the breath. He blew his breath upon us. We was those dry bones. And now we're standing up upon our feet with the book open to the firmament, man. Alright? Because <laughs> you devils, they're in a the time of force, man. You know, I can't wait for um, Elder Pastor Tahar. The coin the next year because yeah i know he always coining on like on the money man it'd be spiritual man i can't wait to see the thoughts of uh elder positive to on this matter you know and all the elders man you know because um you know i'm just meditating you know and this is just thoughts is running through my mind i'm meditating so you know i haven't done a lesson today so i want to do a show be with the lord and uh these things came to mind you know <clears throat> but um force man Strength or energy exerted or brought to bear cause of motion or change, active power. So things are changing, man, and they're changing because you're being forced to change. Okay, we got to change how we speak. Now, brothers can't even title Esau in the, in the headlines because they might snatch your video down or snatch your whole channel down. So we so we're being um you know wise as serpents but harmless as doves, man. Hey, our defense, mega, our defense. Is, is to be harmless, okay? You know, we, we don't have to turn into a lion to fight a lion, okay? We can be a we can be a, a a dove and fight a lion, man, by just being humble, man. We could be a lamb, excuse me, better analogy. We can be a lamb and fight against a lion by just being humble, all right? So you use your spiritual mind to figure that out. It says, um, the forces of nature... Um, the motivating force in her life, right? Let's see, moral or mental strength, capacity to persuade or convince, and that's what they're doing. That's they're convincing you, they're persuading you to go and take the chip. This is why you have the RFID chip with these neat features, home appliances features, you know, start your car features, get in the club, you know, your money, convenience, 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 convenience. They're persuading you, all right? And there's a lot of people now in the world that have the RFID microchip in their body. And they'll tell you, too, that, look, this is the new world. What is that? You think the Lord didn't speak about RFID chips? The Most High said it's the mark of the beast. He didn't have to tell you that it's an RFID chip. You don't care what Esau called it, man. He told you what it is. It's the mark of the beast. And if you can't get with it, then you're going to get lost, man. And the Most High going to destroy you, man. All right. <clears throat> a body of person of things available for a particular end. See? <laughs> for a particular end. See? Yeah, you man, your brother's a violence. Look at this, man. Hey, brothers could get into that. I ain't gonna read all that. I didn't want to make this too long. But um I'm gonna close with a scripture. And I wanna read Revelations uh 14, 14 and 9. 14 and 8, I think. Yeah, this is, uh, this is Revelations 14 and 8. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Who was Babylon? America, man. North America. Okay? The Lord didn't have to say America in the Bible. Why would he give it away? Why? This word is for the elect. This word is for the knowing, the, the enlightened ones. Okay, the enlightened ones. And guess what? The Most High have enlightened poor men. The poor men. All right? To the, to the riches of the world. The riches of the kingdom, man. It says Babylon is fallen. Is fallen. That great city. Isn't this place great? Is Donald Trump saying, oh, America, great, proud. You know? <laughs> the great city. Proud to be an American, man. Right? 
because she made all nations drink of the wine of her wrath of her fornication. Now, fornication means all unlawful sex, man. Even you can commit spiritual fornication. All right. If you're an Israelite and you worship in false gods, that's spiritual fornication. That's adultery in the spirit, man. OK, so he had made these other nations drink of the wine of, of the wrath. OK, excuse me. He made them drink of the wine. And that's their policies, laws, democracy, in which Esau established. All right. He wants this. He wants to go and try. He wants to visit these other countries and they be they, they be little brothers unto him. You know, they following after his footsteps. You know, he wants his ways all in the earth, all in the earth. He don't want to go to a region where he can't uh, 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 have his way. All right. It says, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the most high, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. So if you take that chip, you're going to be destroyed by the Lord and by the ways of his fire, man, which is thermonuclear fire, man. All right. We're not carnal men, nor will we go out and post signs up on stupid ass poles in front of Amalekites, in front of these fake Jews. We would never do such a thing like that. That is Esau's doing, man. We're not going to go shoot up. No Jew, no no eat no Edomite Jew, you know, to to make our name. For what? All we had to do was teach this word. That's all we've been doing. We're not carnal men. We're not blowing up builders, none of that shit. Okay? So y'all gotta do what y'all gotta do, man. You know, we understand the scriptures. They're gonna blame the innocent ones, you know? And that's the Lord beating you back in the spirit. Because a lamb can actually fight a lion in the spirit, man. <laughs> The lamb can actually fight a lion, and that's just not fighting back, but fighting in the spirit, man, because Yahweh Shah is going to protect the lamb, you know? So with that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom. <laughs>